As representative of the Russian Federation, I'd like to make an additional statement. The representative of the United States seems to really enjoy uh, what he uh, what he probably thinks are, are devastating invectives against Russia. And this time, he even uh, invoked China as an ally, which, at a different time, he uh, never tires to ostracize on for any on any pretext, which he considers uh, merit merits that. And yet, we are quite grateful to the representative of the United States for a clear demonstration of how a statement of a, of a state that claims to have a to be a responsible international actor what it should not look like and more specifically a self proclaimed coach of all international actors if the united states spent for humanitarian aid in gaza and other uh, regions in need even a a small share of what they spend on supplies of weapons uh, to hot spots, our world would be very different. Billions of dollars are spent uh, of, to, uh, for weapons to Israel, including 6.5 billion after the 7th of October, and tens of billions uh, for Ukraine. Weapons. Uh, which caused the death of uh, thousands of Palestinians and Ukrainians. That is the real contribution of Washington. And if we speak of Gaza, the first thing that comes to mind is the complete, the completely pathetic uh, project of the uh, of the sea piers. This this is really a a, a an. This is an, uh, a masterpiece uh, of uh, uh, kind of showcase architecture, which was basically washed uh, away into the sea. As far as we understand, uh, almost $300 million was spent on that piers. That's... That's approximately the same amount that was uh, uh, declared to uh, be in the form of humanitarian aid to Gaza throughout the whole year this year in the, the through bilateral channels but of course uh, I, I, we also recalled containers with uh, with assistance that were airdropped uh, which caused the deaths of tens of Pal Palestinians all this was done instead of uh, uh, forcing Israel uh, to abide by a ceasefire. Russia does provide humanitarian aid to Palestine through, uh, through NGOs, through the government, and through the World Food Program. And the Palestinians are well aware of that. And overall, uh, colleagues, just a friendly advice to you. Be before before giving lessons to everyone, at least pay up your contribution to the United Nations and stop causing a crisis of liquidity, which also uh, hinders the humanitarian efforts of our organization. I now go back to my role as president of the Security Council, and I give the floor to the United States for an additional statement. Colleagues, it's very interesting to hear the Russian Federation uh, kind of belittle the humanitarian contributions that the United States gives around the world. Um, we are one of the leaders, if not the uh, leading single state uh, contributor to humanitarian assistance. Um, I'd be very interested to hear what Russia spends on humanitarian assistance as a percentage of its GDP. Um, uh, we are a, the U United States is a lead player on humanitarian assistance around the globe. Russia is not. Uh, if Russia just spent 1% um, of what it is spending to carry out barbaric atrocities in Ukraine, then it could make a claim that it was doing something to solve humanitarian crises around the world. Uh, so 
uh, Russia is in no place to criticize the United States for what it does to humanitarian causes around the world. And I will repeat, Russia doesn't help solve humanitarian crises. It creates them. Look in Ukraine. Thank you. Uh, yeah. I don't plan to continue this discussion. I'll just say very briefly, as representative of the Russian Federation, I'd like to know what percentage of GDP of the United States is represented by supplies of weapons around the world, which the United States uh, delivers. And I just want to ask a question. I hope it's not a rhetorical one. When will you finally pay up your contribution to the United Nations uh, budget? I now go back once again to my role as president, and I give the floor to the, the permanent uh, observer of the uh, observer state of Palestine. <laughs>